what's going on my GG Sensor Gamers. Just wanted to do a quick little, little uh, on the fly through, run through, tutorial, blah 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 with the controls of this H Hour World Elite game. If you're playing with keyboard and mouse. And basically W S A D, you should know that already. Jump and space bar. Lean left Q. Lean right E. You push the gun with the left mouse. And you press R to reload. If you look on the bottom left where it says full, if I press Z it turns into single shot. If I press burst, it does burst. If I press Z again, full. Of course, you empty your gun out, automatic reload. And again, R to just reload in general. Now, there is a kind of a double system so if you're moving forward you hold shift and you let go if you want to crouch or at least slow walk crouch you can press the button C but it will leave you toggled on so we usually don't use that hold the control button because when you let it go it lets you go now if you want to go prone X jump prone yeah <laughs> now there is something that happens, uh, actually before I even say that, one is your, your primary, two is your secondary, three is your grenade. If you have a controller, it's, it's supposed to be pressure sensitive, if not, it's just all the way. Heart grenade, hit back. If you see a door, or anything that's actionable, it's the letter F. Actually, I, I kind of like that. Let's see if I can do something else. Okay. Now, if you're using the mouse again, if you scroll the the wheel forward, it does that. And also, actually, let me see something. Um, how many? Do I have any more of these? Yeah. If you die. and you press the button I, you can get to this. So, you know, you could do that and you press U, I mean, you press Y to talk. That happens while you're in game too. You can do the same thing. And that's really pretty much it. As you see it didn't change my gun, I don't know why, but Death you know That's pretty much it. If there's anything else control wise that happened, I don't know it. But I know those were the quick basics needed to get you up and running if you got the if you're just curious. You can use a controller, but there are certain things missing or not mapped well to the Xbox 360 controller. And there's workarounds for it. I don't remember how. DS4, maybe X Patter. They're there. But yeah, hopefully this helps anybody who's just jumping on and looking for a quick manual. And um, your boy Snow, Ignorant Gamers, and I'm out.